Watch out. Says a bang. Sounding. Don't let the dogs them on them. <laughs> One, two, two, three. Now. Ready? Come to me. Alright. One, One, two, three. Oh. I can't really know people, you know. But I know civil life. I talk about you, the mute, the lucky. Encore. One lucky. One more. Bless you. Bless you. Two more. <laughs> it's not a easy road. It's really rough. Long time we had with sleepless night, how will it land at home again? Bad boy, chill. Bye, burn him. There you go. Other side. Burn them. Yes, I think I can. Door is open. Oh, that's their trophy. <laughs> 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 you know, say our staff are represent for Zaza Beng, you know. And I make you know, say our street from Jamaica to Canada, you know. So make sure you know, you know, support Zaza Beng channel, you know. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Zaza, from your big up everywhere. No for them, I pray this guy long time, I try to keep away. I don't know now, you see there. I found the day before. So, me and my co worker got talking today, and something came up that I didn't really think about when my dad mentioned it to me. He's worked in the agriculture industry for over 40 years. This year, farmers are being offered 1.5 times the value of their crops to destroy them. They're also being told by the federal government they will not receive subsidies for farming if they refuse to destroy their crops. What does that mean? That means that the farmer cannot afford to provide you with food based upon the taxes the government is levying on him if the government doesn't in turn give him back his tax money to provide you with food. Kind of a fucked up system, but that's how it works. And, well, they're not going to subsidize them if they don't destroy the crops. They'll pay them more than what it's worth, and they want them to destroy it, and they'll still get their subsidies. They're trying to create a food shortage. We've got eight months to get our own food supply, or we're probably going to be facing mass starvation. Is it true that the government is paying farmers to destroy their crops? And the simple answer to that is... I initially heard about the government paying farmers to destroy their crops. I thought it was a load of bullshit. Well, lo and behold, we received our destruction notice the other day. So basically, there was two options on how to destroy the crop. The government could fly on Agent Orange, or we could manually destroy the crop ourselves. Oh, we put too much blood, sweat, and tears in it to let them destroy it, so we decided to manually do it ourselves. Basically, it said if we used a lawnmower to destroy the crop, we could receive an extra $600 an acre. Something about the low carbon footprint or something. So, that's what we're doing. I got my letter yesterday. Um, the letter asking you to destroy some crop. Along with the letter, I had to sign for a certified package, um, which included these these two uh, binders, and then of course this three-ring binder on how to properly dispose of your crops. And as you can tell, it's on government paper. And as you can tell, um, this here is the affected area in my section of the county, um, closest town. And of course, you can't run away where you live. So from the county tracks, then they break it down into these individual farm tracks that you have to destroy. And you can see the the crop or the field. This is the second machine that I dropped off here for the local farmers. Just want to show you a little bit of each drum. You got four of these drums, two on each side. Now you can imagine the damage they can do, not counting the blade which you can set down. So this will be the first field that we take care of. So all we're going to do is mash everything into the ground. And then I'm going to go pick up some steel plates, lay them across the road, road plates, so we can get the machines over there, start on that farm. So the farmers got paid by the government. I don't understand what it's all about, but they got paid. Now they hired us to come in here and just destroy whatever we can. I don't understand how it all works, but we're already paid for a certain amount of time. 
You can hear the first machine already running out there. But when you hear them farmers saying they're getting paid to destroy everything, they ain't bullshitting y'all. Y'all better start paying attention. Well, what you saw right there ought to concern you. I was doing exactly what I was told via a letter I got last night in the mail from the Department of Hydrocarbons. They said in order to stabilize oil prices, they need a bunch of oil just dumped. And not dumped on the market, just dumped on lease roads and field roads and things like that. So I'm hooked up to that oil tank, going straight into my truck to get rid of it. Well, I'm going to get fined if I don't get rid of it, they said. So that prompted me to call District Selectman Tony Deloge and, and ask him about this letter. He said he didn't know much about it, but he would suggest that I follow whatever it says. So here we go. You know, these are some serious times right now. Since January, oil prices have been through the roof. I'm seeing more and more farmers on TikTok saying that the government's paying them to kill their fields. Agent Orange, I saw a guy with a... That dream. <laughs> oh, I ain't cutting it. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Trigger, spring it as a place. It's not a joke more time. We roll with K. Burn a burn up. Make sure you support the dance channel. by Animations. Videos from TikTok. Thank you for watching Zazer Bang Sounding.